Hello everyone. I'm just checking out the new um, Surrealistic MG1 Plus VST synth from Cherry Audio. It's currently free uh, for a limited time. I'm not sure of the end date, um, but I just wanted to play a few presets that I created and was also going to run it through a reverb um, because one of the things it doesn't have is onboard effects. Um, aside from, I mean, you can you know do filter cutoff and stuff and I've uh, assigned the filter cutoff to the mod so I actually really like the way the sounds was using uh, Tall Reverb 4. If I put a little cutoff on.
still going. Okay. Um, you can uh, see that, you know, with just a few effects, you can kind of get some interesting sounds. Um, now, one thing that I noticed is it's kind of a weird synth. Um, this seems to be attack and release, but it's not where like the terminology, like there's no section ADSR or anything like that. Um, but it has, it's so small. I can't read it. Um, rise time and fall time. Um, So I think the further down it goes, it's faster, faster attack. All the time, the further down it goes, the faster it fades or releases. It's just a little weird. Um, it's not a bad thing because sometimes uh, it forces you to think differently and maybe try different things, or or you you're just kind of forced to approach it like a something new, something different, so that maybe you come up with different ideas than you would have thought. Um, and there doesn't seem to be a way to sustain the notes with a pedal. I don't know if I'm missing something, but I can't seem to find a way to like just um, use my sustain pedal to hold out notes. So I have to hold the I have to hold the notes, hold uh, my fingers on them. That's a little bit annoying. Um, I don't know. Maybe I missed something, but. I, I never really use uh, use manuals, which is probably a, a mistake. But um, anyway, uh, there you have it. Uh, it's free right now, so I mean, got really nothing to lose.